This is my dad, a Spanish migrant urban explorer. We lived in the suburbs in Victoria, but we weren't too far from, um, you know, country drives on a Sunday to go and, and explore the bush, as he liked to, to call it. On these long drives, I remember him always sort of talking to us and about, you know, we'd say, are we there yet, are we there yet, are we there yet? And we, every time we asked if, are we there yet, my dad's response to that would always be, look outside and appreciate nature. And in 1985, we went to the Great Barrier Reef. Once we got on the boat, went out there and saw what it was, it's just something that has stayed with me for my entire life. Every minute of the day almost, it's really quite uncanny. We were walking along and then my father had been over in the deeper part of the, of the reef, over to where the edge, where the water got sort of darker. And he called me over and he said, come over Fiona, come, come, come and have a look. So I put the mask over my face and he just put my head into the water. You know, you never know if it's a, just a, a, a childhood memory, but I looked down and I could remember seeing as far as I could in the water. And I'd spent a lot of time in the oceans in Victoria, surfing and surf beaches, and I'd never seen so far down into the water. And then there were just all different shaped animals and fish, and you know, I remember seeing eyes and mouths and things ducking in and almost an underwater city. I always had a really big imagination as a child. I was always in our yard looking through things and making up cities and worlds out of ants and snails and anything that I could find in our backyard. And I think once I saw the reef and I just remember being hit by life, there was just faces and life and movement and complexity. And I, and I think even then I started to ask questions in my own head about, well, what is that? What's that? What's that doing? There was all of these things and so once I saw it once it was I just wanted to keep going back and I wanted to know more and I wanted to read more about it and I wanted to know what this was that I saw. And I think the beauty of a place like the Great Barrier Reef is that the more that you know, the more you want to know, the more questions. Whilst I studied marine biology in South Australia, because it was closer to my family and friends, I had always wanted to come up to Townsville and study marine biology at James Cook University because this was true Great Barrier Reef territory. I work on an amazing program called Eye on the Reef, utilising the people that are in the water, on the water, as our eyes, to give information to management about the health the status of the reef and also to share the beauty of the reef with a broader network of people. I originally found TED Talks because I wanted to hear a talk that Jeremy Jackson did. So I started getting addicted to TED Talks and I was watching them all the time. Now for me, I've been fortunate enough to get the opportunity to do a TED Talk myself. Fiona Merida is a marine biologist and is passionate about the Great Barrier Reef. For more than 15 years, she's worked in reef education and marine management and she absolutely loves every minute of it. It's pretty special for me for my career to have even been selected to do something like this and to share my story and my message which is ultimately about getting out in nature and, and about appreciating this sort of stuff, you know, and making the most of it, connecting to it. So if I can even just influence, you know, a hundred people that then go on and influence other people, I would be pretty happy about that. When I say to people that I love my job, I love my job. I think I'm privileged to be able to do it. I think I'm blessed. I wanted to do it since I was five years old. It's all I've wanted to do. It's something that I find emotional to say. It's sort of nerdy. People don't love their jobs these days. It's got heaps of challenges, but I'm doing what I'm meant to do. I don't have any choice in the matter. It means a lot to me. I'm certain that my dad didn't realise on the day that he took us to the reef in 1985 that he was going to give me a gift that would last my entire lifetime.